Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair with low heat, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start off by cleansing my hair really well. You always want to start on a clean slate when flat ironing your hair. This is a perfect time to clarify my hair to remove any product buildup that can bake on my hair during the straightening process, which can cause damage and stiffness to the hair. When I rinse, my hair feels squeaky clean as expected, but no worries, I'm gonna replace the moisture with a double dose of conditioner in a bit. Here, I'm using a daily moisturizing conditioner to replace the lost moisture in my hair. Good moisturizing conditioners are lower in heavy oils and butters and higher in ingredients such as water, aloe, glycerin, honey, panthenol, and that's just to name a few. I'm just gonna comb that through my hair and make sure it's evenly coated and well detangled. After about five minutes or so, I'll rinse it out and on some more conditioner. This time, I'm conditioning my hair with a protein-based hair mask to balance out my hair's moisture protein levels. Doing this is gonna help maintain my hair's internal moisture levels and prevent my hair from being overly stressed. Look for hydrolyzed protein in a good protein treatment because these proteins tend to bind stronger to the hair fiber and have long lasting effects. I'm just gonna place a plastic cap on my head and sit under a hooded dryer for 15 minutes. After my hair's been rinsed, I towel dried it to remove any extra water and begin prepping my hair for blow drying. I section off my hair into workable sections and use a heat protectant spray that contains hydrolyzed protein and combed it through evenly. You want to begin protecting the hair before it even comes into contact with any kind of heat. Next, I'm using a few drops of a silicone-based serum. This is one of the times I will highly suggest using silicones. Before you frown, I want to let you know that silicones provide the slowest heat transfer rate to the hair, protecting it from heat damage and sealing in the internal moisture. Silicones can easily be removed with a sulfate shampoo. Look for ingredients such as dimethicone and cyclomethicone when in search for a silicone-based serum. Now I'm just resectioning the hair into smaller workable sections. Here I'm using a blow dryer on a high heat setting with a nozzle attachment to control the airflow. After the section is fully dry, I put my jar on a cold temperature to help close and seal the cuticle. Then I just repeat the same steps all over my head until I'm done. On the coarser sections of my hair, I prefer using a wide tooth comb for less friction. Then I proceed with a Denman brush for a smoother outcome. And when I'm done blow drying, this is the outcome. Super big, voluptuous hair. Now onto straightening. When choosing a good flat iron, it's best to get one that's made of ceramic and has various heat temperature settings to suit your specific hair needs. Here, I'm using the Tame Flat Iron by Vanity Planet. Be sure to click in the description box below to get a 70% off discount code. Working in small sections, I'm gonna start straightening my hair using the chase method. I know by now you've probably heard of it, but let me explain for those who don't know about it. Basically, it's just following a comb with your flat iron to make a sleeker finish. I'm using a heat setting of 380 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty low for my hair texture and condition. The reason for me doing this is because protein begins to break and reform linkages at 311 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty low. And at 451 degrees Fahrenheit, the hair's keratin actually begins to melt. So I figured that 380 is the safest temperature for me. This is my first time using the Tame Flat Iron, and I must say that I really did love it. The only downside was that I had to continue to train myself to refrain from pressing the temperature settings, which was a little hard for me at first, but then I got used to it. It's a really good quality flat iron, and I really did like how it glides smoothly through my hair without snagging my strands. It's important to note that using a lower heat setting on hair that's not already heat trained or chemically processed, it's going to result in a more textured look rather than a bone straight look, which I'm okay with because I can get a smoother result on second day hair. You can check out my satin roller set tutorial here to see how I maintain my straightened hair. So when I'm done, these are the results. As I mentioned earlier, it is slightly more textured, 
but I live in a very highly humid climate. So I'm very used to that and I just embrace my surroundings and style my hair in ways that I can actually enjoy my straightened hair without the humidity working against me. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and be sure to check out the details on the products that I used in the video. Also, don't forget to check out my satin roller set to see how I maintain a smoother, sleeker look on my straightened hair. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.